Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. So we will continue our discussion on soft and hard fork. In the last video we left right here. We discussed about some of the real life examples of hard and soft fork on Ethereum and Bitcoin chain. So in this video we will learn what exactly is soft fork and hard fork, what's the difference between them and what exactly they do to the underlying software. So let's have a look. So this is the thumb of rule, the hard fork loosens of the rules whereas the soft fork tightens of the rules. Let's see an example, here the dotted rectangle represents the placeholder and the dotted red line represents when the fork was occurred. First let's see how hard fork work. We have two group, one group who have not upgraded the software for the new rules and another group who have upgraded their software as per the new rules. Let's see example on maximum block size increasing. This is indeed an example of hard fork as we know that happens in the real life. There is Bitcoin and the Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin has maximum block size of 1 MB, whereas Bitcoin Cash has maximum block size of 8 MB. So it is a hard fork because it loosens up the rule. As in Bitcoin, you only have up to 1 MB block size, but now in Bitcoin Cash, the limit block size increases to 8 MB. So before the software was updated, everybody was on the same chain and then the fork happened. Somebody decided to go with the update, whereas others stick with the old rule. Now let's say this first block after the fork was found by the miner of this group who haven't upgraded their software and this block was under 1 MB. Let's say 0.7 MB. So if you see here this block follows both the old and new rule and hence it will be accepted by everyone in the whole network Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash as it follows both the rule. Then let's say another block was also found by this group and again it is less than 1 MB so this block will also be accepted by both group. No conflicts till now. Now let's say next block is found by this miner of the group who have upgraded their software as per the new rule and the block size is 8 MB. Then what happens here is, indeed this block follows the new rule of Bitcoin Cash but however it does not follow the rules of Bitcoin as the maximum block size limit for Bitcoin is 1 MB. So what that means is, the miners who haven't upgraded their software will reject this 8 MB block, they will not accept this block into their chain, they will continue their own mining and find the block under the limit. Let's say they found a block of 1 MB, so this block follows both the rule of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, so this is where the split happen. As soon as this type of situation occur, where one thing does not follow both rule, then the splits up occur. And then Bitcoin keeps mining on their own chain, and so does the Bitcoin Cash. So this is how hard fork work, and it is called hard fork because it is not backward compatible. Once the split up occur, then the chain goes on their own way, it cannot be reversed. Now let's have a look at the soft fork. For this we have two groups, one who haven't upgraded the software yet and another have already upgraded. You can see the name are little different here. One group is haven't upgraded yet means eventually in the soft fork all the miners will be forced to upgrade their software as per the new rules. So in soft fork we do not have split in the network, there will be only one chain and changes happen only in it. And another group here who have already upgraded our majority means the soft fork only occurs when there are majority people who agrees on that thing. And that's why there is only one decision and only one chain. Now let's see an example where the maximum block size is decreasing. For the old network, let's say the maximum block size is 1 MB and for new network the maximum block size is 0.5 MB. This is an example of soft fork because the rules are tightened up here. As the new rules are tightened up, we can only go up to 0.5 MB whereas in old rule it was up to 1 MB. So before the fork, there was only one chain. Now the rules are changed here after the red dotted line. Now let's say the first block after new rule was found by this first group and it is of 0.4 MB. So this block follows both the rules and hence accepted by both network. Now again another block was found by the first group and this time the block size is 0.9 MB. So here the block follows the old rule limit to 1 MB but it does not follow the new rule limit to 0.5 MB. So this block is not accepted by the new network who have upgraded their software and so they continue to mine their own block and eventually they found a block of size 0.5 MB which follows the new rule. And so this is where the interesting parts come in. Now we kinda have like a chain split, it looks similar to the hard fork like the chain is about to split and they go on their own forward. However this is what the interesting part, because we have the majority of miners here in the new network as soft fork is only initiated by the majority then what will happen is, these miners are going to find a new block more likely and let's say they found a new block of size 0.5 MB and so what this means is, this new block follows both the rule 
old and new network and this is where backward compatibility of soft fork comes in soft fork is backward compatible unlike the hard fork so what that means is this new block found by the new network will be accepted by both new and old network so there is like an orphan block kind of situation for the old network there is two chain as the old network accepts the new block and since the lower chain is longer and you know by longest chain rule the old chain will accept the longest chain which results in this 0.9 megabyte block being orphan and so there remains only one chain so eventually the new network always wins as they have the majority and their blocks are always accepted by both network as it follows both old and new rules so old network chains will always be rejected and so the old network miners have a disadvantage here there are high chances that their chain will be rejected causing orphan block which does not provide any rewards so this forced them to move to the new network and upgrade the software as per the new rules and mine as per the new rule so this is how soft fork work little tricky than the hard fork the key here is backward compatibility and that's why it is called soft fork the new rules are still compatible to the old rule new rules are like subgroup of the old group and that's why it is called soft fork as it ensure backward compatibility and this is how segregated witness was accepted in the bitcoin so this is all about hard fork and soft fork working their differences i hope you got them now and to end this video i will suggest you this article complete guide on bitcoin and blockchain fork to understand more about the fork and so on this note i will see you in the next video